they announced a sister city relationship with Irpin, Ukraine. It's a, it's a suburb of Kiev on the northwest corner, and it's, it's been designated a hero city during this battle with Russia, during this war, because of their strength in holding off the Russian offensive into Kiev. They took major casualties, and the front line wasn't necessarily the army, it was the municipal police. And so our goal is to do what we can as a city to help our new sister city. And we'll be sending them defensive equipment such as helmets, such as bulletproof vests. But the twist here is that we're also sending guns. They do have plenty of ammunition. Uh, what they are short on is guns, both handguns and rifles. They do have laws currently over there that still do not allow uh, civilians to have handguns. Yet they are hoping to change some of those laws. Some of their elected officials are working on that during this offensive so that residents can protect themselves in their homes with a handgun in case of an attack. So our buyback was completed uh, a few weeks ago. Uh, in that we were able to collect just under 70 guns from the, from the community, voluntarily brought by our community. Uh, folks that were happy to exchange a gift card into a gun that they no longer needed in their home. This is an unprecedented effort, and many people are skeptical that a city would be able to do this. We have found a way, and we are inviting other police departments around the country. If you have surplus weapons, if you have confiscated weapons, if you have guns you bought back from the community, anything that would otherwise go to destruction that is suitable, we can work together with you to help get them to a place that we need. 